Hello, everybody. This is Brother Timothy Dixon coming to you today. I have a dream I'd like to share with you. Today is March the 30th of 2023. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, I thank you. I appreciate you for all that you're doing. Lord, do something in our country. Help us. Show us, lead us, guide us by your Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I dreamed that I was sitting at a table with 11 people. I was listening to their talk about the plans to stop President Trump. They were putting together a political police force and I overheard one of the people say, we will have our own weapon, the Gestapo. I then was changed from sitting at this table to I was traveling across America, having conferences and all over, getting the people to be in one mind and one accord, praying for what is coming and what is coming this next year and more. I was traveling west when I saw the names come up across my windshield. Mark Zuckerberg, George Soros, and Nancy Pelosi. I then started hearing a word of the Lord come to me that there are people that is planning to weaponize a group of people that would carry out They were joining up with some with some medical professors in San Francisco at a hospital out there inside a lab room was being made another pandemic to be released on America to destroy more innocent people's lives. I was greatly troubled by this dream and I woke up and I was praying. And while I was praying, I went into another vision and I began to see a darkness over America, a darkness that you could feel. I heard an angel of the Lord begin speaking, saying God's people will be kept through these times. I then seen President Donald Trump walking up towards the Oval Office, and I knew that he was going to win the upcoming, but I beheld the people that I'm, I'm going to call, call them how I seen them, the Gestapo, started throwing large stones at President Trump. And the stones was drawing blood, hitting him, but he kept walking on towards the seat. And all of a sudden, some dogs come out of an alley and was standing in the pathway to prevent him from reaching the seat. Just before coming out of this vision, a bridge was being built that he could walk over these dogs. We need to pray, join together, pray. I am going to Go to every state. I'm going to every state. If I can't carry the tent, I'm going to get a building. But I want to go to every state and begin to pull God's people together. Because we are in a time that darkness is trying to take over our country. We do not need to ignore this and say, I don't want to hear it. We don't need to turn the channel off and, and try to choose something else to listen to. We need to face up what's happening and we need to pray. Stop fighting one another and begin to pray for our country. Join together in one in the name of Jesus. Write to us at Post Office Box 417 Midland City, Alabama 36350. 
And our website is timothyvdixonministry.org. We've opened back up the Peoria, Illinois restaurant. We've had such a such a good crowd of people come until we opened it back up and uh, opened up more more seats in the Civic Center by renting more space. So if you're coming, be sure to go ahead and quickly RSVP because there's just a few seats left for this event coming up in April the 21st to 22nd and the 23rd with me, me and my ministry team. Uh, Julie Green and her team, Jaron Davis, Kindred Souls, and J.R. Lockie is going to be there. So we appreciate everything everybody's doing. Uh, we're believing uh, God for uh, the finances to, to, uh, do, to build the church. And uh, there's been a few people that has uh, donated to this, this particular cause. And we appreciate it. We appreciate everything everybody does. We appreciate you. We pray for everyone. We pray for our nation in the name of Jesus. We cast out all darkness. We bind the enemy. And we lose freedom on our country in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye-bye. God bless.